Jordan Yu has been wanting to see this telephone for probably five years. So to all you phone twerps out there, no, you're not going to get your way by begging and poking and prodding. Jay says no. And that's not directed toward Jordan. He's cool in that regard. But, uh, yeah, he's been wanting to see this, and it just so happens that I happen to have the time and the motivation to actually record this. So here we go. Off to the side there was a caller ID box. And it's an AT&T 436, and I will not be demonstrating it because I don't need fan twerps, I'm sorry, phone twerps calling me. So we're going to just leave that upside down. And now we're going to play with the telephone. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to play with the telephone. Now, the first thing I do want to show you is that there is indeed a green light here that shows that it's charging. With the light on, it's hard to see it. Um, so I shut the light off. And also, here's the handset. It is backlit as you can see there and let me just get a new battery for the camera and I'll show you the rest okay so here's the phone this is a Panasonic KXTC 1450W how do I know that it's on the back but actually I didn't even look at the back I actually happen to remember the model number of this phone because I bought this for the wife many years ago when she was just a mere girlfriend this was purchased I don't know if it has a date on the back let's uh, let's take a look oops I hit the speakerphone by accident KXTC 1450W I even saved the stop charge four hours before initial use There's the connections. You can see that over the years the plastic has indeed yellowed. They must have used a different plastic for the handset because that has not yellowed anywhere near as much. So this has it's 900 megahertz and it has a headphone jack which you can see right there that opens up 2.5 millimeter jack there so you could use a headset with it. I actually sold this very model at the Wiz where I used to work years ago and I liked this model and bought it for her. I cannot remember precisely but I think the retail price I think the retail price on this was $69.99 might have been $59.99 can't exactly remember. I also have another one that is the 1520B in black, the B for black and w, uh, w for white. Um, that one it didn't fare so well over the years. It's uh, It needs a lot of work. It can be made to work again, but it needs a lot of work. Uh, it's otherwise the same form factor and everything. That has a built-in answering machine. And at the time, that might have been a good thing to have but just over the years it just got too crappy and and whatnot so anyway here it is so we can do a few things here the first thing we can do is we can do an intercom the locator intercom uh, I pressed the wrong button it's been a long time since I used this Hello? 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 Okay, it works. It's just not working well, I guess. I, I have no idea. But it definitely works. So there's the intercom. There, we can hang that up. The buttons, like I said, are backlit. You can see them there. Uh, for Ringer, that was fun. Uh, let's see, where is that? Ringer, right here. You have that Ringer, no other choices, high or low, or... 
off. Wow! <laughs> and for the ringer here, I don't know if it does it. It does. Quiet. Or it shuts it off. And interestingly enough, the beep beep out of there sounds just about absolutely identical to the beeps on the Panasonic answering machines of the time also. So we keep that loud and this we keep loud also. It has an auto button for your preset numbers, a remote speakerphone button. that will pick up the line on there. It does not have a handset uh, speakerphone that predates this. Uh, there was a model 1740 that had that, if I recall. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. So now uh, we will make a telephone call. I'll use the speakerphone because uh, this way you can hear it. Thank you for calling HP, 2020 Energy Star Partner of the Year for Sustained Excellence. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. That, that is at the highest volume. Please tell me which... I don't remember precisely, and I'm not going to go and find out. But somewhere in this phone's life... Now, this was when she... I got this for her when she still lived at her parents' house. And then we moved into an apartment together. And sometime while this was in the apartment, I believe, I'm almost 100% certain the speaker in here had failed. And I replaced the speaker, I think with one a little bit larger that I hot glued in and it fit. Um, that speaker was actually out of an old computer and I repaired it. That was not the first Panasonic phone that I've had a speaker fail in. Um, I think the 1740, I actually have one that doesn't work. The base works, but the handset is pretty well shot. Uh, that's bumming around somewhere. Um, I think the speaker may have failed in that. I'm not certain, but I also do have a Panasonic answering machine in black from the same era. Uh, the era is going to be very late 90s. Let's say 1998, 1999. Somewhere in there, I think, is when this is from. And the speaker in that failed. And I actually had one the exact same size, replaced that. And that is working well to this day. So now I think uh, we should call this. And I'm going to have to do it twice because you people. So I'll do it once with both of the ringers. And then I'll shut the handset ringer off and ring the phone again. So, let me open up this thing here and call away. Okay, so there you go. That was that ring. And now I actually have a refractory period that I must wait while uh, the reason being because if I call back my alarm system will pick up thinking that the alarm company needs to connect to it. So I do have a refractory period I must wait. And I do not know if that has expired by now, but I think it has. So we're going to go ahead and shut the ringer. And I will try to ring it again. It will ring at least once, but the ants, um, alarm system may pick it up. No, I think we're good. So that's what that sounds like. 
Hello? Echo, 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 echo. Okay. I'm going to go out in the hall and we're going to, I'll talk to you through there. So let me go out there. Hello, hello. I'm talking to you through a Panasonic KXTC 1450W telephone. Why is this so exciting? Uh, 1450W telephone from 1998 or 1999. You can hear that the speaker that I probably put into it years ago is loud and clear. I will now end the call. Thank you. And I have returned. So I can hang that up. And now I can call this phone from that. I'll call from the handset. I'll put it on speakerphone. Hello, hello. There is still a bit of an echo. But I'm now but talking, I'm now to, talking you to you through the handset, through the handset of the Panasonic, Panasonic. KX TC 1450W telephone. I'll go out in the hall so there's not as much of a delay in echo. And I've now arrived back. I'll hang up. I'll hang up. And that has hung up. A couple other things just wanted to mention very quickly. This model has the coolest design as far as wall mount or desk mount. First of all, here's the antenna. It does not extend. This is it. You can flip it down if you want or it goes up. No brackets required. It fits right on the damn wall or can sit on the two rubber feet and I don't think there were rubber there. So this mounts straight up on the wall like that and this will go up all the way like that and it can mount straight on the wall with no additional bracketry or hardware and this piece flips. See how it folds in like that? Or flips down, I need the other hand, and clicks into place. And that has a little bit of a lip. And that lip catches in that little groove there. And that will hold the phone on the wall pretty damn good. Absolutely ingenious design that Panasonic had. Um, the phone is filthy uh, because it has never been cleaned uh, since 1998. And it has yellowed from UV exposure, I suppose. And the cat has found the antenna to be a tasty treat. Yet it still works quite well. So that was a look at the Panasonic... KX TC 1450W Telephone from about 1998 or 1999. 900 megahertz. I like this phone a lot. When the battery goes flat, I buy a new battery for it. Every few years. Because this phone really doesn't get used much 
at least nowadays. It was used a lot more back in its heyday, but now it just sort of sits here and waits generally until the phone rings at, uh, oh, about 5 in the morning, or even 4.30 in the morning, for it to ring, which would be the wife's job, calling her to say, hey, do you want the day off? Because, yep, she's just that lucky that that happens sometimes. So that ruins my sleep, but I leave the ringer on because it's loud, it's obnoxious, and it'll wake you the fuck up if you're dead asleep. And yeah, there's been many times where it's rang and she picked up and they said, you want the day off? And she's like, yeah, cool, okay. And that's that. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. Jordan Yu can now cross this off his list. Thanks for watching once again, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.